Sri Lanka's capital city, Shah Alam, has come a long way since the town was first established in 1963. The once home to rubber and palm oil estates has now evolved into a modern state capital with its iconic roundabouts spiraling throughout the city. Having recorded the fastest population growth in the country at one point, Shah Alam was described as a well-planned city as the estate slowly converted into an industrial zone surrounded by commercial and suburban housing projects interconnected by a series of highways along the constituency. Despite such rapid development, time had come to a standstill for residents in Taman Sri Muda when, nearly a year ago, the residential experienced the worst flash floods in its history, resulting in the deaths of 14 innocent souls and hundreds were left displaced for days. Present, risk of an even bigger flood continues to concern Shah Alam residents as it has yet to be resolved. I've been living in Shah Alam for 18 years. Jadi ini adalah satu pengalaman yang saya sendiri tak pernah fikirkan dan ianya mustahil tetapi terjadi ha, pada tahun lepas pada bulan Disember yang mana seluruh ha, lembah Kelang ha, mendapat musibah ya, banjir besar kami setengah makan lepas tu daripada lubang tandas tu dia keluar tu air aku, aku cakap pada anak-anak aku baik kamu di atas rumah bawah semua masuk air dalam kawasan rumah lah tingkat satu kan semua masuk air ha, kira dah banjir turun lah dia kurang lebih kalau bagian sini kurang lebih sembilan kaki lah begitu ha, kira dah sini dah lima kaki lebih lah dah separuh lah separuh sini macam ni kan ha, sini ha, dah, dah semua dah kena lah rumah bawah semua dah kena lepas tu ha, semua NGO datang uh, membagi apa tu bantuan kewangan uh, kerjaan negeri Selangor pun ada bagi uh, dulu pun uh, ahli parlimen kan adun pun ada kita ada minta bahasa banjir kan ada minta barang-barang keperluan uh, dia orang pun ada bantu ada tolong tapi yang kita yang banjir-banjir banjir ini kita kena tengoklah belum save lagi longkang-longkang yang tu semua ada sumpah masih belum settle lagi tak tahu ini kerja majlis ke kita pun tak boleh harap yalah mungkin ianya berlaku kerana sistem saliran perpaitan kita yang perlu kita periksa semula ya, yang mana ada sapah sarap ya, dan juga longkang yang tersumbat itu Kita perlu teliti baliklah. Kita perlu cek semula. When met by the vibes, Pakatan Harapan's candidate for the Shah Alam constituency, Azli Yusof, said he will make it his top priority to find a resolution should he win the election. Everybody knows that Shah Alam is very prone to flood nowadays with the, the climate change and the, 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 the flood issues is really bothering the residents here, especially uh, along the uh, Sungai Renggam and the Sungai Kelang River. This is my uh, commitment to ensure that there will be a short-term mitigation plan uh, as well as long-term mitigation plan. I think the, the short-term plan, uh, there's been uh, some initiative taken by the uh, state government and also the uh, Jabatan Parit dan Saliran to build a retention pond and the uh, the pump system to ensure that you know any flash flood or things like that will be uh, handled properly but on the broader scope i believe there must be a, a comprehensive holistic plan to ensure that the cities is resilient to the uh, climate change because 30, 40 years along the road, we do not know how the climate will, you know, will, will, will behave and change. So there must be a comprehensive plan to ensure that the, the flood uh, issues is handled 